So this is our address written in her hand. It'll be one of the last times she writes this address. Because anywhere from 5 to 14 days, she will no longer be an inmate in California prison. Kay Hinman Martley. She's an 85-year-old lady. She's the cousin of Gary Hinman. She had, um, she had a response and did an interview with the Daily Mail about her opinion on Leslie getting out of prison. And this is what she had to say about that. Up. It brings it all up again to all our family. It's it's horrific plan. It was a conspiracy. Uh, it was gory, and my my cousin was tortured for days. Kay Hinman Martley, 85, said Leslie Van Houten's legal victory came as a shock. She now fears it could lead to the release of the other four surviving Manson killers. The verdict has made a mockery of her and Tate's efforts. I don't know what I will do. I'm in such a state of shock, and Deborah is in such a state of shock. She lives there. I live in Colorado. I can't believe California would do this. That they would let a killer who tortured several people. I mean, the Manson family has got a terrible reputation. I don't care what this woman says. If she says she's sorry, she was given a death sentence. And then it was turned into life imprisonment, and they forgot to add the darn without parole. I'm just livid. I don't know what else to do. I'm 85 years old now and fight Beausoleil and Davis at parole hearings all the time. And then I help on the other three to support the other victims' families. An infringement on all the victims' families. I feel terrible. You're depending on the powers to be to take care of you, and they're not doing it. These people can never bring back those people's lives, and given the manner they did it, they should not be forgiven for that. Governor Newsom, please do not let any of these Manson killers out on the street. Kay believes the judges have not taken into account the feelings of the families and says the constant round of parole hearings could have been avoided had the killers not been given a chance of release when they were resentenced following a moratorium on the death penalty in California in 1972. As a result, Kay and other family members have had to repeatedly attend parole hearings and file legal challenges to stop the gang from going free. It just goes on and on. Legal fees, some are paid for, some are pro bono. It takes a toll, especially on family members. Deborah Tate has so many health problems, I'm sure it's all caused by this nonsense by the Manson family. Trying to beat them at their game, it's a never-ending nightmare. It never goes away. We're always victims' families. Uh, there's people's feelings involved. There's people murdered involved here. Yeah, I know that. I know all that. You don't have to tell me that. Um, I, I don't think it's really fair that they go to people like, you know, I, I, I feel for Kay. I feel for Deborah. I feel for both of them. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in their position for nothing, you know? But I don't feel that the media should go to them and ask for their opinions on murderers who murdered people that had nothing to do with them. It's, it's almost like, you know, hey, Richard Ramirez has just died in the news. Let's go ask Deborah Tate what she thinks about that. This is Kay gets a fact wrong in there. She says that when the Manson family all got their life sentence or sort of the death penalty, they should have died in the gas chamber, which they should have. Yes, they should have. And then the Supreme Court comes and says that, you know, there's some people that are dying that shouldn't be dying let's hold in on that year and everybody got a free pass it wasn't just the manson family and then they came back and they gave them all life sentences with the possibility of parole and that's cases that's where they messed up they shouldn't have gave them the parole part well leslie wouldn't have been involved in that anyway because yes leslie did get the death sentence yes leslie did get commuted from the supreme court just like the rest of them did but leslie also appealed her conviction and she got another trial. And then she got another one after that. And then she got another sentence. And her sentence was 25 years to life with the possibility of parole. So, see, when they go to people that have nothing to do with the case, they even get the facts wrong. So she was writing away. And she was probably writing away of what she's talking about maybe in her case with, or with Bobby. I mean, I don't even know who was involved with Gary. Gary was Bobby, right? Um... But it's uh, not Leslie. Leslie applied for and was granted parole five times. Five times. Newsom said no three times. Jerry Brown said no twice. 
Um, so she's been there a long time. Where they've said yes, you can get out, and you know, and they never let her out. Now, two weeks, she's out. Because that's usually how long it takes. Even her lawyer said two weeks, and if the lawyer says two weeks, it's probably somewhere in, in the middle of two weeks because they want to, you know, they don't want the media there when she does get out. But when she does get out, she's not going to walk right out the prison doors. That's not how it works. The um, the governor's not, he's not appealing anymore, so now the parole's going to take over. And when the parole takes over, she just doesn't walk right out the door. What's going to happen to her is she's going to go to a halfway house. So don't go wait at the gates, at the prison gates, for her to come walking out, because that isn't going to happen. Um, she'll probably be commuted there in some kind of, you know, prison vehicle. But she'll go to a halfway house. And here in California, we don't even call them halfway houses, because that's, uh, I guess it's cruel and unusable punishment to call people halfway or something. So here we call them sober living homes or houses. And she'll be going there, and you can stay in one of those places for 90 days, up to two years. So she could be there for the next two years. What they do in these houses is they reincorporate people back into society. They help them get a job, they teach them skills, they teach them, they give them education, they, all these things. But Leslie's got all that stuff already, so she might be in there and out of there pretty quick. Or they might keep her there for, who knows, forever, who knows. But she's headed off to a, a halfway house now, and uh, or a, oh, sorry, I didn't mean that, Governor. She's headed off to a sober living house right now. I don't think she's been high in years, but she's headed off to a sober living house, and uh, after that, she's free and clear. But she'll she's she's still part of the parole system, so she's not quite out yet. But she will be breathing fresh air pretty soon maybe in your neighborhood. You ought to check the maps and see if you have a sober living house in your neighborhood. And then check in the windows and see if she's there. So keep your eyes out for Leslie. And until next time, peace.